Hey everyone, my name is Root and we are here. This is going to be week number four of the SBN, the Saffron Battle Network, and we are up against Kurt the Buzzwall, and we are actually the two final teams that are undefeated. We are both 3-0 right now. It's pretty darn stressful right now, but this is going to be our squad here. I really like this team in general. And I feel like we match up decently well, but other than that, I'm really excited just to get into this one. Um, we have been doing a decent job in this league so far. We are 3-0. We are at plus 11, and Kurt is at plus 12. So just for the pride, I feel like we have to win this match. But uh, Zero Aura has been wild. It's been so much fun to build with and so much fun to use. Okay, so right off the bat, let me take a screenshot before I forget. There we go. I'm going to have this for the entire match now. Okay, so we have the Mawile, Mamoswine, Dragonite, Mesprit, uh, Tentacruel, and... What's that thing called? Raikou. Okay, so this is kind of wild. Okay. Honestly... None of his bug types, which I really expected. I hard expected the Excelcore, the Araquanid, and or the Buzzwall. The Delmise, I thought, was sure to come. The Registeel didn't even come. Uh, the Talonflame. Okay. This seems actually bananas. Um, I, I could very well lose just because of how underprepared I am for these mods. Oh, no. Okay, so I think I'm decently prepared for the mods that he has. But... I am really intrigued by his team okay i feel like i just want to lead off with lucario or maybe primarina would be a better lead primarina feels like a better lead to me i feel like primarina isn't gonna have this crazy good matchup in general i feel like i could use it early in the game to deal a little bit of damage to his team I don't know. This is a really interesting team that he brought. On and in okay, so I gotta be real, real. I didn't know that he had a Mesprit. I'm sure that he wrote it like in the Discord or whatever, but the website isn't updated. His roster isn't fully updated with his Mesprit. I had no idea he had that thing. Zero percent. This is the first that I'm hearing about it. Okay. Um, I don't know what this is. Leads off with a Mesprit, so probably just trying to get off rocks. Um, I guess we can try to gauge what we can do. Because if a Moonblast does enough, then I'll just click Moonblast turn 1 and try to start doing some things. If not, if it baits in... If me Moonblasting would bait in something else, then I can go for a Reflect. Um, but realistically, I would only be worried about maybe mm, maybe the Mamoswine or the Dragonite. Um, let me think about this. Moonblast... Max HP Mesprit, Moonblast is still right around 50%. Um, and actually, that reminds me that I should do that. Okay. This actually really makes me want to just click Moonblast. I mean, getting damage off on this Mesprit is going to be huge. It just goes for the Stealth Rocks, that's totally fine. Um, the only ra removal on my team is Rapid Spin on my Blastoise. But we just get the moon blast off, and we can see how much this does. It does over half and a special attack drop, which is honestly pretty big. Um, that makes me think that it's max HP, maybe max special defense. Um, if if it has no. Um, okay. So if it has no HP investment, then it's a high roll. If it's max HP, then it's a low roll. So I guess we can gauge from there, but part of me wants to Moonblast again. I am decently scared of this Dragonite um, having weakness policy, but if that's the case, I don't think I have too much to be worried about because it would have to Dragon Dance up in order to really threaten my entire team. I don't know. Extreme Speed could deal a lot to my team. I don't know. Either way, I kind of just want to click Moonblast again. Maybe I should click Surf again because of the Mawile. No, I just click Moonblast. If the Mawile comes in, then the Mawile comes in. Do we see the Mawile? I don't know what that is. Yeah, okay. I thought that was a Tentacruel. It took me a second, but I figured it out. 
before uh, Tentacore at the field. Um, and that does a lot of damage. Is that, is that a crit? That is a crit. Okay. Okay. So, a non-crit might have done about 25-ish percent. But, let's see here. Okay, so it's probably not max special defense. It's probably just max HP. Maybe max defense again. Maybe. But, we do have a Psychic for this thing. And Psychic... Psychic just barely misses out on a KO, but Psychic does enough where it's totally worth it to me. It's totally worth it to me. I feel like I just clicked Psychic here. We can gauge damage off of this thing. If this has no special defense investment, then... Or if this has... Oh, it's life orbed. Interesting. So Psychic takes you out. More, more, li more likely than not. Okay. B huge KO. Huge KO. That means that that should be it for his removal, which is going to be huge for the Dragonite later on. And the fact that the Mesmerite has rocks means that the Mammoth Swine is less likely to pack rocks. So it's probably I'm gonna I'm gonna think it's gonna be some kind of a scarf set. Is there any use in switching this thing out? I would theoretically, the only thing that I outspeed is the Mawile. If the Mawile is no defense, I did speed creep a Mawile, I think, a little bit. No, no, never mind. I had a speed creep something else, but um, I sped crept with something else. I believe I sped crept. I don't remember. It's fine. Um, I, yeah, I feel like there's no reason to keep this thing on the field. I'm going to click reflect. If we get the reflect up, cool. But, it goes for the Psychic. Probably we don't take that unless this is things just... Yeah, okay, fair enough. Although, hmm. Nope, never mind. I was gonna say. Maybe the fact that it just, like, clicks Elth Rocks and switched out maybe could be Scarf's Rocks, but it's obviously not. After the leftovers got revealed. What I would really like to do is go into Dawn Fan, maybe set up Rocks with Dawn Fan? I'm a max defensive Dawn fan, but to every match before, I brought a really specially defensive Dawn fan. I don't know if he would have watched my matches and try to play off of that, but um, I think Blastoise would, wouldn't make any sense here. I could maybe threaten him out with Lucario. And also, part of me just wants to go into Zorora and Volt Switch, maybe to play some games on that in that sense, but I honestly think that the best play would be to go into my Dawn fan here. If he does switch out into something that can take on my Dawn fan, maybe he thinks that Dragonite would be able to set up on my Dawn fan, then that'd be fine. But in all honesty, I just clicked Stealth Rocks. Goes for the Ice Beam. He doesn't take us out. He doesn't take us out. Okay, we barely take it. But Getting up rocks is going to be important for the match. Uh, unfortunately, this Dawn fan does not have knockoff. Uh, yeah, that was super unfortunate. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. But you know what? We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Um, yeah, this Dawn fan actually can't touch this mess for it. Which is fine. Uh... Oh, man, this Dawn fan set is really embarrassing, but uh, it, 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 it only makes sense when you see what he could have brought. But this Dawn fan is Earthquake, Bounce, Stealth Rock, and Counter. Um, I'm going to like Bounce in case like he switches out or something, but I don't know, man. Goes for the Psychic. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not making me like actually reveal Bounce. Um, and, how, and just how you know bad this set is for the Mons that he brought, but... Uh, you gotta understand, like, he thought, like, he had an Araquanid, he had a, a Buzzwall that I thought I, I could maybe, like, 1v1, it was, it was a whole thing. I thought I could, like, I, I would outspeed the Delmize and try to get a bounce off on that, whatever, it's not the point. Point is, I have to deal damage to this Mesprit. <laughs> um, Lucario. Lucario could threaten Mesprit with... Dark Pulse or Crunch or something. But I don't have Dark Pulse or Crunch or something. But I think he has to respect that play. 
which may or may not give me a free Meteor Mash. I don't really see the point in going into... Huh. Zero Aura might be a play. Zero Aura Knockoff. Yeah, I think the play might always be Zero Aura Knockoff. Especially at this range below 75%. Um, this thing would have to probably be like max defense. Knocking it off an item somewhere is going to probably be huge in the grand scheme of this game. Um, I would imagine the Mawile is pretty free. Um, if he does go into the Mawile, then at that point, at that point, I'd probably go into Blastoise. Blastoise can throw out some Scalds. He would go into the Raikou. There's the knockoff. That's an Oko from that range. So, okay. That's pretty decent. It does allow the Raikou in for absolutely free. There's the life orb. Um, what does that mean? I no longer have, like, my dedicated Raikou check, but... I don't think... Goes into the Mamoswine. That's interesting. Oh, yeah, this is definitely Scarf Mamoswine. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I feel like that means I go into my Noivern. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna think that he's safe going into Noivern. Man, but I really think that I honestly think that Okay, to be fair, this could be like Chopple Mammoth Swine, which I wouldn't be surprised if he brought at all. Um, what are my options here? Because I really have to think out this play a lot. I think, I think he scarfed Earthquake. I think he scarfed Earthquake. If I do go into Mammoth, if I do go into Noivern, then I would U-turn out. 100%. Unless he, bu unless he scarfs he bluffs Scarf, Jesus. Unless he bluffs Scarf, like, that hard. I'm running out of time as well. I feel like Blastoise has to be the play. The safest play is Blastoise, and... I think it just has to be the play. He could go, like, wild and predict that with, like, an Icicle... He could, he could predict my Noivern and go, like, Icicle Spear, but yeah, I think Earthquake is always his play. Um... Let me see. That is a lot of damage. That is life orb. Okay. Okay. It's life orb. So that means I had the free low kick on this thing. I had the freest of low kicks on this thing. This is bad. I don't want to give up my Rapid Spinner this early. I think it's a mistake to give up Blastoise this early. But that's just so much damage. I have to sack something to this Mamoswine. Unless, I go into Noivern, expecting the Earthquake. And then I double switch into Lucario. If he calls this and goes for Icicle Crash, then I lose. Well, I lose Noivern, but that would pretty much mean that I lose. There's the Life Orb. Goes for the Earthquake. And now I have to straight up double because of the Ice Shard. I have to straight up double into this Lucario. And then that 
would give me a free Meteor Mash right now. Yeah, okay, okay. That's still a lot of damage, dude. You know what, and honestly, now I'm really wishing that I brought like some, some heat like agility. But either way, here's Lucario against a Mamoswine. You know this thing's life orbed. Um, Meteor Mash should threaten an Oko. And it would hit whatever comes in, except for the Raikou, really. But then the Raikou would have to respect extreme speed. Um. I could also low kick. Low kick would hit the Raikou harder. Probably. But is that even worth it at that point? Oh, yeah, no. It hits the Raikou, like, a lot harder. Like, a lot harder. It would be unfortunate against the Mawile, but if he Sucker Punches, he would give me a Justified boost, and then I Meteor Mash. Yeah, Low Kick has to be the play. I think he's going to bring out the Raikou here. I think we see the Raikou here. It's the Dragonite. Interesting. Because my... Okay, that's a decent amount of damage on its own, but... Um, I 100% outspeed this thing, and... I 100% outspeed this thing, and... I have Ice Punch. But even if I didn't, Meteor Mash would have done a lot of damage. I don't know. I guess that was a sack? I don't... Mm, I don't quite know. What's he trying to win with, I guess? Because... I yeah, I thought he tried to win with Dragonite. That frees up my Noivern a lot. Like, a lot. Goes into this thing. So, like I said, he can't really go for the Sucker Punches against me. And, if anything, I'm surprised he's not worried about... I'm surprised he's not worried about... Uh... Me having Earthquake. But, I guess we have to just see what I'm doing to him all while. I guess we just have to see what I'm doing to him all while with Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash does quite a bit of damage. And I guess we have to see. This set is so stupid. Like I said, I have to. I, I had to respect so many different things on his team. Earthquake with a straight O code with with expert belt. It, assuming he's like max attack. I'm gonna. Cl I'm, I click meteor mash. We'll see, if he does sucker punch and give me the plus one, then that'd be wild. That'd be wild. There's the Meteor Mash. Does he go for Swords Dance? Oh, this is reasonably defensive. This has to be at least max HP. This has to be max HP with some defensive investment. Okay, interesting, interesting. I feel like I should go into Blastoise here. Noivern can't do anything, but then Blastoise can't Rapid Spin, which is really gonna hurt me. Well, is it though? Because I don't beat Mamoswine anyway with Noivern, and Raikou gets Draco'd anyway. And Zero Aura low kicks Mamoswine. And probably 1v1's Raikou, so... Yeah, okay. Let's let's go for it. Let's go for it with the boy. So, my... My Blastoise should outspeed naturally. And... 
I don't know. Sucker Punch might just win him the game from here. Sucker Punch honestly just very possibly just wins him the match from here, but I guess we just have to see what I can do. If I can burn him, then that would be huge. But we just barely miss out on the burn. We. Whoa. Okay, whoa. That could be game changing. I have no choice but to click the move. He could sucker punch me now. He might not be. He does have the sucker punch. Do we take it? We take it! Oh, just barely. Oh, man. If we win off of that sucker punch miss. Uh, uh, off of that play rough miss. Because now, again, theoretically, the rest of my team 1v1s his. If he brings this thing out, then my Zero Aura could win by just spamming Low Kick. Because even if he switches in the Raikou, yeah. I'm going to click Rapid Spin? Question mark? Icicle Crash, that's fine. So now I have to go into... I have to go into my Zero Aura. I click... I click... Low Kick. He, pro he probably clicks Ice Shard. But, there's no way he takes low kick at this point. Zero Aura against Mamoswine. Yeah, he has literally no chance of taking this low kick. And then... Goes for the Ice Shard. We take that okay. There's the low kick. And now, the real question is going to be, is this Raikou scarfed? <laughs> is this Raikou scarfed? Because if it is, then we have to straight Oko with Draco Meteor, which might mean that we have to crit. But I guess we just have to see. Because we are Scarf Noivern. Low Kick is going to be the best move to click against this Raikou. Or knockoff might be. Actually, yeah, knockoff might be. It actually does almost the same amount of damage and it knocks off his item. Yeah, we have to click knockoff. We do outspeed, and if this outspeeds, and that means. There goes the specs. But if this outspeeds, then that means that Neuron outspeeds. And that means that. That should be the match. That should, by all accounts, be the match. Unless we miss Draco. <laughs> we can, Unless we miss Draco, right? But, uh... Because it looks like Draco is my own, the only move that I could hit it with that would guarantee the Oko right now. He would honestly deserve it if I miss Draco. He would honestly deserve it if I missed Draco. But, we have to click it. We land the Draco. And we move on to 4-0. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I feel kind of awful, dude. But, I don't know, man. He's the first opponent so far that's brought me below a 3-0. And, uh, that was... I straight up should have lost that match, man. God damn. I feel real bad. Okay. That's going to be the match. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will be back again really, really soon with more weeks of the PGBL as well as more weeks of the Saffron Battle Network and some other really exciting things to come up soon. But once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.